Welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This uh, unit will be about PCB layers, specifically because we're going to be talking about layout and how we can go from two layers, which is the default in PCB new in KiCad, to four, six, eight, ten, twelve uh, layers, and I believe sixteen is the max actually. So let's get started here. I am going to open up a project, uh, the same. Uh, project that's already made here just so we can talk about certain things but we're gonna open up PCB new same uh, same looking board here and this board is actually made with two layers um, you know you really don't have to decide right at the beginning whether or not you want two layers usually I like to start at two layers and then once you know the I really determined ah, this is a little too complex then I, I'm, I can switch to four layers or six layers or whatever whatever is really important um, in in this case, sometimes you don't know up front. You know, maybe you want a power power plane layer or a ground layer, but if you don't already know that up front, it's best to just start with two layers and move up. All right, so let's look at design rules menu and then layer setup. So right now we see this is listed as custom. I believe that's the default, but there's also a setting of two layers, uh, parts on front and back, which is effectively what this is. So uh, this preset is actually really nice um, because you can switch between them. We could also change everything manually. Uh, we can switch to 16 layers. But we are going to go right over to uh, four layers, parts on front and back. Now we see that some of this stuff has uh, changed here. So we're going to actually, uh, we'll, we'll, instead we'll just make uh, layers two and, or one and two into ground and power layers. So uh, for uh, layer two, we're going to make this power, and we'll rename it ground plane. And then over here, we'll switch over to mixed, because this is going to be power. And then sometimes we also want to put other traces in there. And it'll look like this, where there's a, a, a trace cut out inside the power plane. This can be dicey. Um, you know, you have to be careful how you slice up your power plane, because if you... If you utilize too much of it, just really why bother having a power plane at all? And and you know some people don't like to do that at all. Um, but in terms of cost savings, sometimes you you just need you just need one more layer to put a uh, trace through. So we'll just we'll just call this power plane for now. All right. Oh, I didn't like that. Aha. Space. It doesn't like space. So we'll do power dot plane and ground dot plane. All right. All right. So now we have uh, power plane, ground plane, uh, front and back. Now the other thing to mention here is uh, we can switch between layers. But let me show you how we do a default. So normally I hit X. X uh, actually starts the trace here. And right now it's showing that this is on the back plane. You can also see it. Oh, uh, if I hit escape here, you can see over here this arrow shows which lane we're, which uh, layer we're on currently. So if I hit X again, it should start drawing a trace. If I hit V, it'll switch between back and front, and you can see that same arrow swaps between them. Hit V again, creates another via, and swaps between layers. Now that's all well and good. Now even though we're creating power planes and ground plane. Sometimes you might want to, like I said, might want to utilize those other layers. We might have cutouts in the plane or whatever. So how do we actually get down into the uh, planes? So this answer resides in the hotkey menu, which goes, we went over in the hotkey uh, video. But if we look down here, switch to copper layer, inner layer, one, two, three, four, five, six, component layer. Um, these I've actually, I made custom. And the reason I did is because this this component layer actually refers to the front, this copper layer refers to the back, and then layer two and layer one, which are actually inverted here. So what it what it ends up being is that I've set our hotkeys to be uh, front is F5, ground plane is F6, power plane F7, and then back is F8. And so let's actually start doing that here. So we're still in the trace drawing mode, so I don't need to hit X, I can just start drawing. Uh, let's actually switch. If I hit F5, it should switch. It switches without even drawing here. So it switches to the front layer. So we're drawing on the front layer. If I hit F6, it creates a via, switches down to the ground plane layer. If I hit F7, 
switches over to the power plane layer and then F8 switches to the back copper layer. And so that's why it's really nice to have these hotkeys because as you're hopping up and down through all the different layers, you know, not necessarily with ground planes as much as if you had separate signal layers for running traces, um, then we could easily, um, you know, jump between, you know, if you're trying to get, the reason, reason you're doing all this in the first place is because you want to be able to go underneath layers or underneath traces that are on other layers, right? So if, if we instead, if we back this up and we go back to the, uh, the front layer here, oops, I hit F5, and then X or click, should start drawing. We see that there is a trace here that would normally intersect. Same thing here, if we were trying to run these traces all the way across, these uh, these other signals here would actually interfere, and that's problematic, right? The DRC, the design rules checking, will tell you, oh no, this is not allowed, because you're going to short all your signal lines together. So instead what we can do is we can switch down to another layer, hit F6, we can go down to that layer, and then it's actually on a different, a different layer of the PCB. And so the VIA drops it from the top layer copper down to the ground plane layer copper, and effectively, if you look at the gray trace here, if we switch back up to the, the uh, front, and then we end the trace. It's kind of hard to see here. Let's turn off that view. So we see this is top layer copper, ground plane layer copper, and then top layer copper. It looks like one line, but in fact, what it is, is actually, you don't, you, if you were looking only at the top layer copper cutout, you would only see dash and then dash. You would, And then if you looked at the, the a picture of the ground plane copper, you would just see this long line here. The via is a vertical a column of of copper connecting from the top layer down to this layer. And so, uh, and we go over that in, in another video showing the, the basics of a PCB, but uh, it's, it's important to note because, you know, as we are jumping up and down through different layers, it's, uh, it's a good thing, you know, it's a very important tool in any PCB layout. You need to know that, you know, you have more than just top and bottom layer. Sometimes you go to a four layer board. You can also go to six layer, eight layer, all these things. The real, the real uh, balance point there is as you go to more layers, you basically have a more complex layout. And then you also usually have a higher cost. Now in recent years, you know, back 20, 30 years ago, uh, two layer boards are really expensive. These days, four layer boards are, are only marginally expensive, more expensive than, than a two layer board. So uh, it is a tool, especially as you move into higher, higher density layouts, that really becomes an important thing to utilize. All right, so just for posterity here, let's actually, uh, let's add two, let's add two more layers because you know, I was adding signals to the power and ground layer. We really want to keep power and ground layer separate. So instead, we can just switch over to six layer. It added two more, uh, two more traces or two more layers here, rather. And so we can call this signal one, and we'll call this oops, signal two. Sorry about uh, showing all my keys there. All right, and now we can do the same thing. Um, do it okay creates more layers over here. We see I have front, signal one, signal two, ground plane, power plane. And we can rearrange those to, to you know, usually you want, uh, you know, you might want the power plane on the very bottom, but it's not as important. Or you might want the colors changed, so we can we can start playing around with that kind of stuff. So let's uh, go, then we go into the hotkeys. If we, uh, preferences, edit hotkeys. So those were three and four. So this is going to be F9 and F10. And so we might want to actually, in order to keep them in order, uh, we see that this is F5, that's F8. So we want to now make this F10. We'll make uh, this one F9. Actually, we'll keep that one the same. This will be F8 and click OK. And so now if we want to go between all the different layers, we start a trace. This is F5 is the front. F6, no, nope, got that one wrong. So we actually wanted the signal to be next. Oops, hot keys. So we want signal one to be next. 
we want signal two. Oops, this one's signal one. We want uh, signal two to be after that. Then we want ground plane. Oops. F8, F9, complete F10. We'll see if we got that right. All right, so we start on layer one. Oh, we can just go down F5, F6, F7, F8. If you look at these arrows over here, F8, F9, F10. And really, this is just a preference for me. I mean, you can set up your hotkeys however you'd like to, but I find this really useful for uh, being able to switch between all the different layers. Having them all in a row really uh, really helps me kind of visualize and see how I think the uh, the layers go. Now, this, this actually isn't a, a great idea because you see that the... Uh, Signal one, which is right below uh, the top layer copper, we actually don't want those to be the same color. We definitely want those to be very discrete colors. So maybe a uh, maybe a yellow would be a good color. Um, it's tough because you know you start to run out of colors as you have board edge outlines, you have copper pores, you have you know parts here as well. So it's uh, it's just a matter of you know finding a good balance and being able to switch that around. All right, so uh, this is how you create different layers. We went from a two-layer board to a six-layer board. Hopefully, you're able to add. Now, after this video, you're able to add other layers. You can, uh, and then you know, set up your hotkeys so that you're able to quickly switch between them. Because as you're doing layouts, as you're routing from one one uh, point to another, you you know, as layouts get more complex, you need to be able to, to fit in. Um, you need to be able to squeeze between layers in order to make just to make your connections because the more parts you have in here the more dense it gets and the, the more complicated the layout gets all right so uh, good luck with your 16 layer board which I'm sure you're all gonna go off and do now thanks for watching